Come on, let's not punch up. Come on, fellas, let's get back to our positions. Let's go. Hey, there's some jeeps coming. Must be the hot chili promises. All right, Sergeant, get a chow line started. Is that an order? Oh, you're looking for volunteers. Hey, don't let them bunch up. Uh, it's just in time. Flu, coals are starting. Hey! in the stars and stripes that we're the best fed army in the world. <laughs> My stomach was beginning to doubt it. Well, they do, what the, they do the best they can. Well, let's go. Correspondent, and I'm here to get frontline reactions for 20 million readers. Okay? Do you feel the people at home are giving you enough backing to win this war, or do you feel that they should be asked to make further sacrifices? Further sacrifices? Well, sure. There's rationing of all kinds. There's meat shortages, gasoline shortages. Look, lady, I, I got a shortage of my own to worry about right now. Oh, okay, soldier. But I asked you a question, and I want an answer. <laughs> Vic 
tomorrow. Guest star, Elizabeth Ellen. Now here on this map is the village of Trois Anges, English translation, Three Angels. Here it is right here. As far as we know, Trois Anges is unoccupied, a kind of a no man's land. The artillery noise is from 12th Corps firing into the enemy supply area right here. Over this way, beyond the hills. Now then, here are Lieutenant Hanley and Platoon Sergeant Sergeant Saunders who have been detailed to answer any questions you might have of a tactical nature. Questions? How close are the nearest Germans? Well, Berlin's only a thousand miles in that direction, Eleanor, if you care to start hiking. I capture Berlin by Eleanora Glory Hunt. Very funny. You ought to be with the USO. You do a much better job entertaining the troops than you do writing about them. Touche, Glory. Oh, shut up. How close are the nearest German soldiers, Lieutenant? Well, we haven't had much contact with them lately. When was the last contact? About ten days ago. There's a rumor up at Army that the American troops could advance, but they're being held back for some political reason. Would you like to comment on that? Oh, Eleanor, you see, whenever there's a slowdown, why some armchair strategist starts that rumor. Lieutenant. Well, uh, I'm just a platoon leader, ma'am. I can hardly handle my own rumors, let alone commenting on the armies. All right. Well, then what do you think, Saunders? Could we advance toward that town, that uh, Trois Anges, if we wanted to? Just an opinion. I really don't know. Oh, brother. I've just arrived from the United States. We'd never know. I'll give you a copy of this for your wartime scrapbooks. I'll caption it, Fearless Correspondence in the Thick of Battle. All right, I have a question you can answer. I'm looking for frontline reaction. Yeah, well, I have a more personal question. Like, when do we get back to where it's warm? Yes, my malaria started again. You're confusing malaria with DTs. Lieutenant, I want to meet your most forward man. That seems only fitting. She's our most forward woman. I'm going to see some men. It's a pretty nasty dig. Well, I hate women who just have to prove they're better than men. Come to think of it, who loves them? <laughs> uh, look out for her, will you? I, uh, I know how she can get under your skin, but well, she can do us a lot of good. This is about one of the best magazine photographers in the business. Sergeant. Yes, sir. Cooperate, but don't let her out of your sight. Well, there's a story that about a month or so ago, she, she visited some Navy shipyard up near Seattle and tried to stow away on a submarine bound for a combat patrol off Japan. Well, there are no submarines around here, sir. Well, you know what I mean. Don't let her... Don't let her sign a separate peace treaty or anything. That's a good way to get your head blown off. It's my head. But I'm temporarily in charge of it till I get you back to the captain. And you could do what you want with it. All right, let's go and stay low. Is this your most forward position? That's right. This is an observation post. Nelson, this is Eleonora Hunt. She's a famous magazine photographer. I'm a war correspondent. Private, what's out there? Mm, trees, fresh air. Germans. I, uh, I like to think that it's just trees and fresh air. What's the matter with you? I'm going out there. What for, lady? The lady's bored. The lady wants to find a little excitement out there. Excitement? In this place? Sergeant, I came here to cover a war. Since I've been here, I haven't heard one single shot fired in anger. 
I haven't seen one dead German. Private Nelson, what's your hometown? Now you've seen one. It's my job. to have these people safely back in the rear area by nightfall. I wonder where she could have gotten to. She knew she had to leave. Oh, here's Hanley. Saunders took her to the forward area and then... along the logging road. First thing I knew, she was getting aboard. Best thing I thought was to stick with her. Well, Captain Smith, and where do you think these resistance children have just come back from? I don't know. Toisage. Mm-hmm. While the American army sits on its inertia, these half-tipsy civilians come back and forth at will. Why? Well, Miss Hunt. That's General Hunt, Captain. Look, Eleonora, maybe the army has something more important in mind just now than taking some little village. Maybe they're spread out too thin here to spare the men. Maybe it would create a salient where they could be outflanked. Or maybe it... Look, why don't you stop trying to run the war? And why don't you shave? All right, son, please get aboard. Hey, Jacques! <laughs> Au revoir. Au revoir. Et merci. Au revoir. 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 Lieutenant's taking out a patrol. He wants you in cage, and he says to pick two other guys and meet up at the O.P. right away. I'll go if you want. Well, what, what kind of patrol? Oh, on the road. The female photographer's disappeared. Oh, no. Yeah, and the public relations officer is here with orders from the colonel. Well, uh, 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 wake up, Kirby. Uh, wake up, Kirby. Hey, Kirby. What? We're going for a walk in the woods.
We figure she's somewhere here around Troisange. Trouble is the enemy could move into this area at any time. We've got to find your girlfriend. My what? She went off with those French resistance boys she met yesterday. If I hadn't awakened, we still wouldn't know about it. She left this on my desk for me to cable for her this morning. I guess she found her submarine, huh? Or a suitable substitute. Get a couple of jeeps out of company. The ones with the machine guns mounted. Be ready to leave in 10 minutes. Yes, sir. Stay here, s'il vous plaît. He's going to find out if it is safe, if there are any Germans in the village. Also, he finds out something even more important. If someone perhaps gives us a little breakfast, I hate to get shot on an empty stomach. village dans les environs. Ils n'en sont plus ici depuis une ou deux semaines. Oh. Dites, euh, les copains et moi, on crève de faim. Est-ce qu'il y aurait quelque chose à manger Ah, pour la mortelier. Pour l'américain, alors. Pour l'américaine Oui, oh. l'américaine. Et hey, mademoiselle Les américaines La libération Voici. Non, 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 non. Les Américains sont ici. Voici. Alors, les Américains, les Américains sont arrivés. Les Américains, c'est la libération. Si on... Non, vous vous, la... vous vous trompez. Regarde. Non, non, ce n'est que journaliste américain, non. Oh. Hey, regardez. Peut-être bien que c'est la libération. Look, soldiers. Oh, no, it's not the liberation. They've probably just come after me. Les Américains! C'est la libération! C'est la libération!
Non, non, ce n'est pas la libération. Mais non, je vous dis ça, c'est une erreur, ce n'est pas la libération. They don't know why the Americans haven't come before this, and neither do I. Well, now you're here. Now, get this through your head. We couldn't hold this town even if we wanted to. We don't have enough men. Now, get in that jeep. We're going back. Hi, eh? Royal Canadian Air Force. Airman L.F. Fraser shot down near here two weeks ago. Oh. Here's the one they should clap for. Madame Claudia Micheline. But for her, me and a lot of others would be in some blasted German prison camp. Je n'ai rien fait, je n'ai rien fait. Soyez les bienvenus. Welcome. There is a brave one who has done far more than me. Monsieur Desjardins, the schoolmaster. Et Monsieur le Docteur Bouvier. Vive le Docteur! Hey, you're gonna make them understand this is a patrol, not the liberation. Tell them. Écoutez, il faut que vous compreniez. Nous ne sommes qu'une patrouille d'armée américaine. Nous ne sommes pas la libération. Nous ne sommes pas la libération. Vous compris? Uh, Change. You tell them if there are any traitors in town and the Germans come back, we cannot protect the patriots who have revealed themselves. Et s'il y avait des traîtres dans le village, et j'espère qu'il y en a pas. Et si jamais les Allemands revenaient dans le village, nous ne pourrions pas protéger tous les patriotes qui sont révélés. C'est normal. All right, lady, you're under army orders. Get in that jeep. Okay, okay. I've got my story and I've got my pictures. But I'd rather it didn't end with an American retreat. Merci, Jacques. Merci bien. Canada! Room in the jeep for you. Okay. Madame, I wish you'd come with us for your own personal safety. Monsieur, every family in Trois-Anges has sent at least one son or brother or sweetheart to La Guerre, the war. And half of them have died for La Patrie or are blessed, wounded. There are no traitors here in Trois-Ange. Madam, there's great risk for you and the others. Monsieur, it is my work, huh? To stay here and help those who cannot escape. They look for us here. I cannot run away. Monsieur, you have your work. You are soldat, eh? You do not run away from battle when there is a risk you may die, nor do I. L'officier américain veut que nous partions. Il pense qu'il y a un trait parmi nous. Si vous voulez partir, allez. 
Je ne vous le reprocherai pas. Je resterai ici. Merci. Et moi Monsieur, we all stay here. Mais merci bien. Merci. Et bonne chance. Good luck. John, let's go. Take it easy now. My friend and me, we... Take it easy now. I... Look, look, look. Look, it's parti. My copain and I were on the other side of three angels. No comprends. No comprends. No comprends. Cage, give me some water. Well, Lieutenant, he says that he and his friend, that other uh, resistance guy, well, after we left, they drove past the village. They ran into some German and his friend got killed. He thinks the Germans are heading for the village. You weave there, trois anges. Sergeant, round up a couple of men for reconnaissance. Great. Cage, that means you and Kirk. Come on, let's go. It's Lieutenant Hanley, 2nd Platoon. Let me speak to the captain. Sir, Lieutenant Hanley, permission requested for a recon. The Germans are in the village. How many? I don't know, 20, 30. They are coming to the village after you leave. Two uh, parachutists, American. American parachutists? Oui. Uh, they are in hiding. Where are they hiding? I don't know. Madame Michelin, she, she has very many hiding places. Let's go. All right. Oh, that's you. You better stay here. Ich glaube, ich bin zu nervös. Was ich brauche, ist ein Urlaub. Das wäre das Richtige für mich.
gonna be used to here to cover us. We'll try to get down and get a closer look. Let's go. Traders in Toisange. The Nazis are in there, all right. But well, what do we do, Sarge? Follow orders, avoid contact. Report back to the lieutenant as soon as possible. All right. That guy who said the war was hell. Man, you sure said a mouthful. <laughs> Sir, I want permission to go into Trois Zones. Find those paratroopers and get them out before any of the underground people break under interrogation. But, sir, they may not break. I want to get them out, too, if they're still alive. They're very special people. Yes, sir, I have a plan. Thank you, sir. Sergeant, get a squad. You know who. A squad? Yeah, that's all they're going to let us take with us. We're going to have to get in there, raid the place, and sneak those people out. Take the chiefs with the machine guns on them. Right. Say the uh, path you found crosses the main road right outside the village. You mean the one right here? Yeah. Are you sure it's wide enough for a jeep? It's wide enough. Let's go, Sergeant. What are you doing here? I saw Jacques, that Frenchman, and he told me what you were up to. So I borrowed one of Captain Smith's jeeps. Borrowed? Well, lady, if you're back in the States, you'd get ten years for that. Lieutenant, what you're doing is an important part of my story. The most important part. Miss Hunt, go back. You're delaying us. Lieutenant, don't worry about me. I couldn't care less about you, except you're holding us up. And if I could spare a man, I'd send you back with him under arrest. All right, all right. I'll stay out of your way. I'll stay right here. All I ask is that when it's all over, you let me go into that village. I'll take you on a personally conducted tour. All right, let's go. <laughs> Thank you. 
Not one German? None that I could see. All right. Kirby, Cage, Nelson, Smith. Take that Jeep. Circle around the rear of the village. We'll go in from the front. something now the rest of us don't. Talk. I got a great picture for you. Come on. Come on. Most of the Nazis pulled out before we got here. They left behind some of their best interrogators and a few mementos. He's one of the lucky ones. He'll probably survive. on a page, pictures in a magazine. They're not part of a story. They're part of humanity. But you wouldn't know that, would you? What happened to the paratroopers? Nobody broke. They were hidden in a root cellar. That old French lady's house, you know, the one that made the speech. Madame Micheline, what happened to her?
What are you, anyway? I've told you already, Sergeant. This is my job. Sergeant Saunders, please read this story. You had a lot to do with it. What happened at Toisange will never be found in history books. It isn't big enough for that. But as long as courage is virtuous and love of man precious, its story will deserve the telling. His body a living diary, bearing indelible entries to the end of his days. At Toisange, I fought, I suffered, I nearly died. Recent antagonists, but death, with one final charitable gesture, has wiped away all trace of enmity. The courageous and the quick. The dead and the compassionate. From those who will never forget the tribute of tears. Now I know. They're not part of the story. They're part of humanity. But you wouldn't know that, would you? Now I know. Maybe. Just maybe. Thank you.